Welcome back everyone. It's been a little while since I made a video. Um, so I'm going to try and keep uh, this a little, little bit brief. It's about a particular problem uh, today. There's been a few things that stopped uh, videos in the last little while. And some of them are just things that are basic field vehicle maintenance. And I don't know if you can hear some sounds in the background there. There's also a, what I would call a puppy, but actually she's pretty much the size of a full-size dog. It's one of those things you get, you know, just add food and water and it becomes the size of your leg. Anyhow, um, what you're looking at here is just a couple spanners and uh, some of that plumber's tape or pipe hanging uh, metal. And it's just steel. As you can see it's got holes spaced across it. And, you know, it's about $4 for, I can't remember, I think it's like 10 meters or something like that. And you really need to keep this stuff around. It uh, It's part of what uh, the structure for the old... Uh, uh, CNC machine I made because um, you can bend it and it's pretty stiff and it'll hold its shape. You can fix all kinds of stuff on your car such as recently tempered a fix for hooking a gas tank strap back up. Um, something today though that was very frustrating and uh, quite uh, quite annoying. It was really quite annoying. Um, I have one of those wrenches for taking an oil filter off the car. That proper wrench broke. Had this heavy duty rubber band that goes around the outside of an oil, uh, goes around the outside of your oil uh, filter. I'm just gonna use this round piece of PLA or something here. Or maybe I'll use this. Um, so you'd have your oil filter and this is gonna be the oil filter for now. And you'll have a, a band of some sort that'll go around. And when you apply tension, basically like this, and then there's a wrench on it that pulls it on itself. And I'm sure you've seen these, um, they're on eBay. I think Canadian Tire and all kinds of automotive has them. When it pulls, it, it presses against itself, so it self tightens. Well, the rubber split, um, and, and the uh, rubber split and the tool handle broke. Now, the tool was pretty cheap, but it doesn't matter the price. If it breaks on you just when you need it, so, um, there's another way to get that off using the same principle. So you have this metal stuff, it's it's a strap. And if you have spanners that it just passes through like this, you can see it fits pretty pretty decently through that. I don't know if it's gonna focus here for us. It'll fit through this. And there's a little bit of resistance, but not much. But that's not how we're gonna use it. What we wanna do, and this one was the one actually used on the car, I don't know if you can see what's happened there is um, I fed, I wrapped this around the oil filter and I fed the tails through one of the spanners and then began to twist. And as you can see, the twisting action will tighten in this metal strap on the bottom of your oil filter. Um, by hand, you'll get it to the point that it's tight enough to hold itself there. Then what you need to do, depending on what tools you have around, this is just one of the ways I learned from my grandfather. Um, you take your other spanner that's handy, and you link it like that, and you can then turn this with a whole lot of force. Of course, I got it on the wrong way around. You turn this with a whole lot of force, and then what you end up with is a one-size-fits-all emergency oil filter remover. That easy. Um, and if you notice the scrapes here, this is just uh, what happens when you've got a baby puppy and their claws are pretty sharp and they're very excited. But anyhow, um, hopefully this is recording and getting my voice well and there isn't too much noise from the dog chewing on a piece of styrofoam by the sounds of it right now. Um, but hopefully this can get you out of a jam, you just can't get to the shop, or like me, you broke the proper tool because it's only made out of plastic and rubber and you're the kind of guy that needs things made out of metal. Um, indispensable stuff, this metal strap from Maker Projects. I can't pick up what I wanted, what I would show you, but um, where this works for a maker is you can see there's a smaller holes, M3s and whatnot fit through, and there's larger holes, but you can make braces. What are you doing, dog? Oh, yeah. Buy your dog any toys you like. It loves the free cardboard box stuff that comes in, just like a kid. Anyhow, you can use this to make brackets and whatnot. Um, and of course, more serious note, 
you can affect small repairs. In this case, getting a stuck oil filter off. Um, quick note on that. For the first time in a long time, I took the car to one of those drive through oil change places. Last time, they changed the oil pan bolt um, to something I didn't know, so I had to play guess the size. And they wrenched on the oil filter. And on top of that, there was a huge dent in the side of the oil filter. Now, the dent didn't correspond with this because there was a black gripping thing on the bottom like a lot of the Frams have. And uh, I'm not going to mention any brand names or locations because it might not be indicative to the whole chain or the brand. Just coming back from a hard split there, apparently there was still one of my many alarms set up in this uh, foam. But the idea here is, obviously the size is a little bit out of whack, but uh, you put this down on your filter. Let's see if I can turn this by hand. You can see how when you turn this, it auto sizes. It just auto sized to this. This is the bottom of an old pill case that I used to hold my my uh, metal sponge for my soldering iron. I just got joined again by my little dog here, who isn't little. Anyhow, so then you do that, and then you would take your wrench or your other spanner and turn it like that. And I have no hope in heck of holding that still in my, in my left hand. Anyhow, that's how it works. Uh, that easy. And uh, yeah, so that's your quick rundown on, I guess, an emergency homemade oil filter wrench. Just a moment. This is our little guest coming in to my little empire mess here. Coco, what are you doing? You making a mess in Dad's mess? Are you stealing Dad's stuff? You are. You are. You're stealing my stuff, are you? You are. But it's fun, is it? That's a scrape she did the other day. It's fun, is it? Oh, yeah, she pulled all that junk in the law away. Oh, boy. Anyhow, I gotta go clean that up. So, a small update, as usual. Thanks for watching, and... Hope that helps somebody. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. And I uh, should start having some actual more regular videos soon. Uh, another interesting thing, post note, this is a Samsung Alpha. It's exactly the same as the phone I'm filming this with. The only difference is this one is white and it used to be my wife's. She's upgraded her phone. So this gives me another uh, HD camera. So we'll see how I can put that to use soon. Anyhow, as I said before, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.